It's been a long time since I, I love my life, since I liked my life. And the past three days, I have really loved my life. I felt like myself. I got to do things that make me happy for me and not for other people. And I got a chance to do nothing and that was really cool too. It's been fucking amazing just doing nothing but thinking and fucking breathing and taking photos and videos and like just fucking tapping back into myself. I feel like the past like two years I've just been doing so much for everybody else and not and just not doing enough for myself just because with no reason no rhyme or reason to it just to fucking do it so this weekend was great it was necessary it was my first weekend alone and I loved it I need more weekends like this spent the morning at the farm and ordered myself an impossible whopper from burger king not the best thing to eat but it's the weekend and why not have a little junk food you can't have any no not for you Hi guys, um, I need to take a shower. digitally organize my thoughts get routines together again in new york it's been really hard to have a routine just because like there's always something to do or somewhere to be or always someone visiting or wants to come by and it's really cool that i'm in a place right now um where no one knows who the fuck i am so like no one's coming to visit no one's just dropping by there's no coffee dates no tea dates like none of that well, my skin is kind of taking a beating especially like down around here i don't know what's going on um maybe some sort of wing jewelry that i've been wearing um i really love this winged youth serum it's kind of weird that i'm using a serum called youth serum and definitely not considered youth anymore and i'm also not chasing that but i do like what it feels like and smells like and like makes my skin look like so there is that. I do put a little bit of this on my shoulders. I do tend to get a little bit of like shoulder acne as you can see. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like if I use my skincare, like my facial, facial care products on my shoulders, then like maybe it'll help them out a little bit. I don't know, it sounds legit. Like this is skin, this is skin. Why not use the same? Silk SPF um, by Coco Kind. I was a little hesitant about it at first. Anything that comes out like too white and creamy, I'm just not really with. Um, but the key, oh, please don't fall. We're not doing rated R YouTube. The key is to just keep rubbing it in until it disappears. Like it does take a little bit of effort and that's okay. But the first time I put it on, I didn't put the effort in. And I was like, this shit is not silk or clear, but it definitely is. And 
I've been using rosehip oil just because I do have, again, like some scarring and rosehip oil is really good for that. That definitely helps lighten any hyperpigmentation or anything like that. Any discoloration helps even out your skin tone and it just really locks that moisture in. So I've been using and loving rosehip on all of the places. I've been using this um, Solo Wave literally consistently for weeks now and I just love what it's doing to my skin. First up, uh, we got a little gift from Jade Jewelers. Um, it's this cause piece, which is really cool. I guess this is like the certificate of like analysis or something, but it's kind of hard to open this with one hand. Alright, so there's this really gooey Jade ring that I'm into. Wow, I love this so much. Yeah. Let's see. BWS Market, um, one of my favorite black owned skincare, I guess, marketplaces, digital marketplaces. So this pumpkin enzyme mask is fucking incredible and I need this so much for what's going on with my skin right now. I'm in Florida and it's very sunny, so black girl sunscreen is needed. I've actually never tried um, this squalene oil, but excited to try it out tonight, probably. And then last but not least is from my ritual family. Um, this is my first signed paid campaign for the year, which is really cool. Um, I can't really show you what's in here or even talk about it until like May, but excited to try whatever this is. Make some clock. Thank you. 
Boa. So I've been in Florida a week and I haven't unpacked yet. I'm about to do that now. Ordered these eco friendly hangers from Amazon. these um, in my prescription. I thrifted these in LA like the end of 2020 and I really love these grandma frames but they need lenses. I have this free people dress in two colors because I love it so much. It's literally just one of those throw on and go summer dresses um, that I wear all the time. I wear it with boots and sandals and like all of the things but I have it in black and I also have it in white. I don't really know why I brought so many like clubby going out dresses and things. Kind of weird because I don't ever really like go out, so I don't know. Maybe I thought that's who I was gonna be down here, but that's definitely not who I am. <laughs> Alright, 
so it's dinner time now and I am making some sort of like pasta bake thing. Never made this before, but I've been craving a good vegan pasta. I'm using this Banza Rotini. This is one of my favorite gluten-free pastas. It actually tastes really good. Um, some onion and garlic. And then for the sauce, I'm gonna use this Alfredo from Primal Kitchen, another one of my favorite vegan brands. It's really good for sauces and whatnot. definitely one of those people that can't wait until food is done so I check on it 24-7 yeah it's looking so good although I think it needs to bake for a little bit longer than 10 minutes pasta situation is done. It looks incredible. I cannot wait to dig in. I'm gonna start watching that Lotus show. White Lotus? Is that what it's called? I'm not even really sure, but Jason said it's good, so. All right, time for a little nighttime skincare routine, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower. I really love this pumpkin enzyme mask um, from Nova Skin Essentials. It like gives you that glow instantly. Um, also, it's black owned and I got it from BWS Market, which is also a black owned company. I also like to put this on my lips a little bit. I am an avid smoker and to avoid black lips, I want to exfoliate. So this, this uh, mask I feel is safe enough to use on your lips because it's made from natural products. I would only leave it on my lips for maybe like two or three minutes and then the rest of my face. I also like to put my mask on before I get in the shower so that like the steam from the shower opens up my pores and all of that and it helps save on time. I'm headed to bed now. This was my first weekend alone in a very long time and it felt amazing. Um, I don't know, I kind of think that we all need a weekend alone at times. Anyway, until next time, bye.